What's up, guys? Uh, Brandon here. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're at. Today, on the second video, we're gonna do another Pokemon uh, card opening. So, we got some Family Dollar packs, we got some uh, Sun and Moon United Minds, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, and we got some base set Sun and Moon for you. Um, so, we'll start out with <coughs> the base set Sun and Moon. And we'll give this a whirl. These guys were like a buck a piece at my local uh, family dollar. So, you know, obviously we don't expect greatness, but hopefully pull some cards. And here we go. Pelipert for the last one. All right, so those aren't too bad, guys. I'll take those. I don't have any of the base set Sun and Moon, so any of these are nice. I hope everyone's having a good day. Get in there, eating it right, working out, taking care of yourself. So we got a Drowsy, a Tukeno. Excuse my butchering of these names, by the way. And a psychic energy. So at least Drowsy's got, you know, some ammo to use his uh, psychic boom. So that's good. All right, on to the next one. Again, guys, these were like a buck, so you know you don't expect to pull any super rares, ultra rares, etc. But you know, it's all about the fun. So we got a Rowlet. Oh, we got a reverse Harlow char charge bug. Totally butchered that, but I like how it's reverse hollow and it's nice. So we're gonna keep that up there. And boom, Drowsy's got some more psychic energy to uh, do some damage with his psychic boom. Um, I haven't played Pokemon since I was a kid. So everything's a little bit different now, especially with these V and V Max cards. All right, so we got a shelter. We got a Zubat Psychic, which is pretty neat, so he'll go over there. So now I technically we're gonna steal energy from Drowsy and give it to Zubat, so boom, now he has some bread and butter. And then a Pokeball. On to the next one. And they're put together pretty good for a dollar packs, which is nice. Ooh, look at that, nice sand dial. I always thought Sandile was pretty cool looking Pokemon. Ooh, we got a Golbat Reverse Hollows. Look at that. We got a Zubat, a Golbat, and a Psychic Energy. That's a nice, that's me. That's nice. We'll take that. I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. And then we just got another Energy. I'm pretty happy with that, guys. That's nice. This right here, that's nice. Let's like the camera up on there a little bit more. I mean, you know, not not anything too crazy. People have pulled Sudden Moon before, but you know, for me to not have any to start my set, to uh, start my collection, I am very pleased. And this is also the base set Sudden Moon. Um, I'm a couple years late getting back into this, but it's fun nonetheless. Because Mog. That is a pretty cool looking Pokemon. It's like a Starry Night type thing. Like a Dust Gathering. It's like a Psychic that uses like a plain energy. That's pretty neat. So we'll throw him over there. Ooh, and we got a Kangaskhan. Is that a hollow? Is that, does that look hollow? Is that shiny? No, maybe that's just regular. But that's a nice looking Kangaskhan artwork. I like that. Throw that over here. And then a Spinda. I remember playing Pokemon Emerald back in the day, and I did not really care for Spinda. He would always pop up. We used to battle him. I always pick Torchic. I'm always the picking the fire starter. Fur my favorite. Everyone shout out to those Charizard fans out there. Everybody loves Charizard. The real MVPs though, they go through playing the grass type. And that difficulty. Yungus. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Torkoal. I like Torkoal. I started using Torkoal in the later years when I played Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire. He was a pretty good fire type. I liked him. Definitely, uh, people should utilize him a little bit more. And then an XP share. We'll throw that up there. 
All right, we got three more sun and moon left. Give this a good rip. Yeah, I'm starting this channel up, guys. Uh, just an ex massive just stuff that anybody's in. Uh, I'm into, you know, that other people are into. Anime, Pokemon, lifting, uh, little Lego. You know, you name it. I want to bring it to this channel. I want to have this as a positive area for everyone to grow. Positive vibes. And we're going to start with a Caterpie. Caterpie is a good looking Pokemon. I always liked getting Caterpie. I remember like watching the first Pokemon when I was younger. Caterpie was what's up. And Paris. Paris. I don't know. Paris was a nuisance. Finally get some uh, water energy. Give it to those guys. And throw those over here. Second to last sun and moon. Hopefully I'm opening up these packs uh, good enough for y'all. That's a nice one. So to keep that art. <coughs> a crab brawler. That's pretty sweet. Definitely wouldn't want to meet him on the beach. Ooh, that is a hollow Toxapex. That's pretty nice. So maybe that that Kangaskhan maybe was? You guys tell me in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And then a Corsola. All right, last one, a sun and moon. Unibus again, I think that's, that's the only double we've gotten knock on wood after this. I moved this card, this could be another double. Oh, look at that. Gumshoe GX. Sun and Moon. Last one. I'll take that happily. That's nice. Definitely. That. And then they go together. And another water energy. So that's the money right there, guys. I am very happy with these pulls to add to my Sun and Moon collection. You guys let me know your favorite Sun and Moon card from the base set. Guardians Rising, Unified Minds, etc., etc. Um, recently coming back into this, I've definitely realized there are a... Wow, didn't mean to knock that over. Um, there are a lot of newer Pokemon than definitely when I was a kid to uh, keep track of. So, but I like the challenge. So we'll put that right there for our Sun and Moon, guys. And we will move on to... Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. The pack art on these is pretty sweet too. I didn't really go on the pack art on Sun and Moon. Pretty sure everybody's seen pack art on Sun and Moon. You know, definitely probably keep some of these, you know, display them in like a case or something. Just because they look pretty, pretty sweet. Not maybe not that one. You know. There you go. Those look nice. Four, right? Four, no, five. Look at that. We'll keep those ones. And we'll check the other ones. And pull those over there. So, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Let's see what we got. Ooh. So, we'll do this one last because we only have the one. We have three, three. So, we'll do it like this. This is a new looking uh, Nine Tails. I guess it needs a glare on it or Aloha. Aloha, excuse me if I butchered that. Put in the comments below how bad I uh, just killed that. Four year old, sorry. So the first one, Gothia. Excuse my butchering again, guys. I am not the brightest. Um, Gothia, that's the first psychic. Ooh, a Golos Pod. That's a hollow. That's nice. That's a cool looking Pokemon. I haven't heard of him. And Machoke. Oh, I love Machoke. This brings me back memories of when I was a kid playing red, blue, and yellow. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I'd always pick Machop. Then you get to Machoke. And then to get to Machamp, I realized you had to trade him. And I was like, so disappointed. I was like, ah! Then obviously I had friends that could help me trade for him and evolve him. But let me tell you what, the biggest inconvenience when you're an eight-year-old kid, just trading Pokemon. Tentacool, that's a good one. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Saladin. 
Nice looking fire Pokemon. And an Aloha Graveler. Graveler I liked also. That was another. I am de I was definitely the fighter type Pokemon picker. Picker um for the game I had. Always a fire. Always a nice ground fighting type. You know, I usually use the base um, flyer you would get. Um, got a Belden. It's pretty cool. A Rockruff. I think a Rockruff is cute. A Rockruff is a cute little Pokemon. Definitely met that guy. I want him. And a Water Energy. Look at that. It's kind of cool over there. Pop, hooking him up. Alright, guys. Third pack of uh, Sun and Moon. Guardians Rising. open this <laughs> this guy so I've recently just seen this Pokemon the vanilla light that's just it's kind of morbid but pretty cool Ooh, uh, Drampa reverse hollow dragon card I've heard they had these dragon cards but now since everything with sword and shield that's out they are no longer doing dragon cards we will see and then a Slagoon, another dragon, nice. So, I mean, if they're at least getting rid of them, I'm getting some now. So, that's nice to have that. Totally butchered that pack, guys. My apologies. And we got a Slowpoke to start. Slowpoke's pretty sweet. A Mudbray, it's like a horse, that's pretty cool. And a Wimscott. A fairy. Oh yeah, I remember they did. They started doing fairies and dragons. I was so confused. I started getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh also, and that was a whole another ball game that just I was not ready for. To go from back from collecting like Legos for the past couple years now into Pokemon. Awesome! Look at that, Alohan Geo, dude. So this is me right there. Boom! I got two out of the three. Oh, what the! Vika Voltage GX. That is great. How did I not? That's a great pull. I'm very happy. I think that's going to be our best pull of the Sun and Moon sets. Another trainer card base, but um, over here. That's nice. Now we just need a Lohan Golem, and uh, I'll be very satisfied. I would prefer, you know, Machop and Machamp to add to my Machoke. But. Oh, whoa, the fact that I just said that and he popped out, he said, I'm here. I got your back, buddy. You can help me lift some weights. Appreciate you. And then a Trubbish. That's a pretty good looking type. Oh, and some energy. Gotta have some energy for my boys. Hooked them up. Look at that. That's nice. Man, it's me. That's nice. So far, we're doing pretty good. All right, guys. Last two of Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising. Excuse me again a couple times for my tripod falling during this video. I'm still, this is only my second video I'm getting into it, so as time goes on, the quality will get better. Pancham. That's a pretty cool looking panda. Karate Chop. I definitely would pick him if I was playing the newer games. Use him, Reverse Hollow Aqua Patch Trainer card. It's not too bad. And then a Glissor. Glissor is pretty cool. But again, this Vic Volta GX. That's a nice one. I do have sleeves, guys. I left my sleeves upstairs. I will be sleeving all these cards and putting them in a binder and you know making it all nice and nice collection to look back on in uh, later years and. You know, have these videos to look back on and be pretty happy that I, uh, you know, made, made this, finally made the step to make videos like this and more to come. Um, so, a Phantom. That's pretty cool. That's a spooky looking Pokemon. I definitely would have picked him. Heliopotile. I butchered that horribly, but that's a pretty cool looking guy. Throw him down here. And then to end it off with a Kumala. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. So, we had one for this pack art. We had one for this pack art. Look at that pack art. Had that one. We had that one. We had this one. 
Boom. Boom. I think there's like one more. Is there one more? No, I think. Maybe it was just these four. Okay, maybe just these four, but that's pretty sweet. We'll take those. And. Appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, checking out my ch channel. Second video. Making moves, hopefully. Get these all squared away. And we will put the Zig Voltage GX on top. So we've gotten a nice GX for each car. So we only have five unified mines. Oh. Wow, messed that up, guys. That's where the tenth Guardians Rising went. So excuse me on that. That one is it's my fault. All right, so another gold. Ooh, reverse hollow rubbish this time. Nice. And an energy recycler. So nothing really too crazy in that last one. That's okay. We got that GX we wanted. So. Ooh, okay, now we got five of the Sun and Moon Unified Mines. It's the first time I've ever opened these ones also, so we'll start with Mew Mewtwo, because I remember like, when I was a kid, you know, the first Pokemon movie came out, Mewtwo turned uh, Ash and Stone. Definitely cried like a little bit, a baby. I feel like all the kids did, though. All right, so San Solid did That's a psychic. I thought he was fire. They switch them up on you. It's confusing. Slacketh. Not bad. And uh, Mushurana. Rest well. Well, hopefully if you have insomnia, you pick that Pokemon and he can help you go to sleep. Alright. Skorup. Reverse Hollow Drillbur. Nice. And a Lampet. See, he's fire. I thought he was psychic. Man, they keep switching it up on you. But I guess that's the fun of collecting the different varieties of the cards that you can acquire through the sets. Oh, look at that. Muna. There we go. Look at that. I'm very happy with that. That's nice. We'll take that. Dwebble. The mole trace in the back. That's pretty cool. He's shocked. He's definitely like, wow. Better clean it. He's got to clean his crab shell later, definitely. Type null. Never heard of this. Don't really know what that is, so let me know in the comments below. Inform me a little bit, guys, so I'm better educated on some of the newer stuff, getting back into it. You know, let me know what I'm messing up on, so for future videos, I don't do that. Um, so Fletchling. Oh, oh, yeah, I messed that up. So Fletchling. Trainer card reverse hollow. And a dragon air. That's a nice dragon card. We'll take that. And the last one for the sun and moon unified mines. Boom. So these unified mines did not come with the card. So it's just these three. Um, Ryol butchered that probably. Sorry. Um, energy. And then an Archon. So, you know, not too bad pulls. I'm very satisfied because it's one of each. Obviously, coming into this, I don't have any of this set, so I'm very happy with any of the pulls. I'm very happy that we got this Evolution set right there. And these GX cards are pretty sweet. So, those are cards you can kind of expect to pull from your Family Dollar. Dollar General packs that are about a dollar, give or take, you know, and, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys checking out my channel, um, if you guys want to check out the Instagram, put up some, uh, have some fitness videos I have put up from before, and I'm working on putting up some new stuff, took, uh, definitely took some new videos today at the gym, I was doing some back and buys, and, uh, really place feeling good, eating healthy, eating right, you know, get your fruit in, but, uh, Anyway, guys, I think the next video will probably, maybe we'll do some Lego. I feel like that'd be a nice switch up. 
So I'm gonna do Pokemon, maybe do a Lego, and then I'll throw in a fitness video or something, or just let me leave the fitness videos onto the Instagram, and you guys can check them out over there and keep Pokemon, Lego. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys could smash a like on this video, I would appreciate it. Help me uh, get out there and, you know, uh, you know, help me support me. I'd appreciate it. Um, all right. Everyone have a good day. Stay blessed. And, uh, you know, take care.